Alrighty guys, so I am here today and I'm actually currently in my car. I'm driving over to get COVID tested. Um, I'm gonna film my, my whole experience and kind of share my experience with you, kind of narrate what I'm doing, what they expect of me. A, I have an 1130 appointment. This is a drive-through appointment that I've made um, to get COVID tested, uh, just for my personal safety and health, as well as my family and everything like that as well. So I am here at the center right now. I'm gonna be pulling in. And like I said, I'm recording the whole thing so you know what exactly is going on with me, um, what I'm gonna be saying, what I'm gonna be doing, and kind of all that stuff. All right, so I'm pulling up. There's a gal who's wearing a mask. She's having me move forward. Let me put on a mask for her. Hi, good morning. What time is your appointment? 11.30. What is your name? Andy. October 21st. And your phone number? 760-703. What? Okay, and your email? Uh, a. Okay, uh, picture ID with you? Yes. Make sure you have it ready to go. So, picture ID. So, all she's done right now is just kind of check me in. She asked my name, date of birth, email address, telephone number, and then there is a parking structure that I will be pulling into. Um, she said to have my ID ready uh, from the video that I saw online. The All I'm going to be basically doing is kind of holding my ID up to the window so the person can see it. We'll see what happens. There's one car in front of me right now. As far as I saw on the video online, it looks like that I am going to... They are going to give me a clean sterile like q-tip that's about lo this long or so i'm going to stick it into my nose so it's going to go me an inch into my nose so i'm thinking it's going to be like right up to here where like the bridge sits on my glasses okay so i just gotta go ahead from the gal um to pull into the parking structure so i am pulling into the parking structure there are a couple people here who have the uh, like a face mask on as well as some looks like uh, not a surgical scrub they're wearing scrubs but they're also wearing kind of like um, a frontward gown on them as well I have a lady who is approaching me now I am assuming she's gonna be checking my ID yes Is correct? yes Okay, so she's just getting started on filling out my paperwork for me, which I greatly appreciate. How's your day going so far? Good, how's your day? Good, thank you. Good. Kind of nervous, but... Oh, don't be nervous. You're going you're gonna to swab yourself. I know. <laughs> but I guess it's always good just to kind of know what your status is, right? Yeah. Even though I'm not showing symptoms. I would just do it. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys all being out here, oh, too. Thank you. Seven six zero. Alright. So as soon as the vehicles move forward, then you can move forward. Okay. Alright. Thank you. So she's filled out my paperwork for me. Um, she grabbed most of the information that she needed off of my driver's license. Um, asked for my telephone number. She said once the cars in front of me move forward, I am able to move forward. It looks like there's like two or three cars ahead of me. I haven't shown any symptoms at all, but it's um, like she, she said, she's gonna. I'm gonna be doing the swabbing and all that stuff myself. Yeah. You get your okay. Um, which is your email? A C H. So you can also have your test results uh, telephoned, like called to you or emailed to you. I opt to have my results emailed to me. They'll be emailed in about five days or so. And she was just confirming my email address to make sure that it gets sent to the correct place. Alrighty, so I am pulling forward now. I think I'm gonna be pulling forward a little bit more and stopping. All right. Hi there. Hi, you can turn your car off. Okay. What do you think for your paperwork and then we'll get you tested? Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. 
so she just wanted to let me know that I can turn my car off and kind of just hang out for a little bit. She's waiting for my paperwork uh, from the girls who are on my right. The ladies here on my left are going to be doing my test. Hi. Hi, are you Andy? I am Andy, yes. Okay. Correct? Okay. So she's getting some stickers ready and putting it on my medical bag that's going to have my test, uh, like test swab and information on it. So she's just kind of preparing all that stuff right now. Um, getting some of my labels and stickers ready with my name and my test results basically that will be going in to the little sample baggie. You're just getting all that prepared, putting on fresh clean gloves. Um, they are all sanitizing, which is super nice to see as well. Speaking of sanitizing, I've got my sanitizer in the car. I'm gonna sanitize my hands before. All right, sanitize. Hi, sorry. Okay, okay, when you're ready, you can roll your window down. Okay, cool. Roll down my window a little bit more. Perfect, thank you. Okay. So, tissue in case I sneeze. Yeah. So it is a self swab test. Really okay. Easy. You'll put it, uh, the swab in each nostril for 15 seconds. Okay. Do a couple of swirls, let it sit. So we want to get a good sample on that um, Q-tip or on my cotton swab. Okay. In order to test it. Okay. All right. And I can kind of guide you as to where to put it in your nose. Perfect. Thank you. So she's opened the swab for me. Here's the swab. And uh, just go ahead and pull my mask down. Okay. And was it an inch into the no nostril? Yeah, so you can see at the end of the flab, like where it's just cotton and fluffy, just okay. right to the end of the flap. Right there. Okay, cool. Perfect. And then do a couple of swirls. And we'll hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then the other side. Ooh, that tickles. And then in a little bit further. There you are, right there. Right okay. There. Turn. And then hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. I could take it from you. Okay. Perfect. So she's got a little test tube ready. Put the cotton swab down into that. So the um, test results are taking five business days. Okay. Uh, you'll get an email. Okay. Uh, folks, call if you're positive. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Take it easy. Thank you. You too. All right. So I just finished my swabbing. She's collected my sample. Um, she's put it in a little cooler and um, kind of locked it all away. So that's gonna sit in that little chiller for a little bit. And what she told me was it's gonna take about five business days to get all my information ready, um, to do all the testing and all that paperwork and everything that's necessary uh, to get my results back. If I'm negative, I will get an email. And then if I'm positive, I will get a phone call. That was super simple. It took less than honestly, I rolled in maybe about 11.24 and it's 11.32 right now. So that's how long the process was as far as checking in, getting all my paperwork filled out by the awesome nurses, and then doing the cotton swab test. Super easy. I don't know what I was so nervous about. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was me getting my COVID testing. It was a nasal swab. Um, test that she kind of collected the swab from me. I put it face down in that little test tube and then she kind of broke it off and that was it. I hope this gets you informed. I'm going to leave a couple images if you are here in the San Diego area where you can get COVID tested and then I will also leave link in the description box below the website that I personally went to to find where I was getting tested um, whether you need an appointment or not or any kind of information like that. So again, free COVID testing, just know where you stand. It's just for your health, um, safety of your friends and family and different things like that as well. So thanks for joining me on this adventure. Uh, no, it's not as fun as my product reviews that I've been doing um, or anything like that, but this is something that's serious and that's going to be probably sticking around for a while. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that this was informative for you and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.